Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So this will be the second last episode. We are with the Dragon's Rejects today and I decided to take a one skull, one red skull assassinate mission. I did play a one skull, one red skull uh, battle mission against the local government just to see what kind of enemies I would be facing. It ended up being three assault lances and I did okay on that. It wasn't so bad. So I thought I would take this mission against Curita. Um, and I was expecting to be taking at least three lances. It looks like they've got four lances plus the elite mech warrior. So they got about at least 17, maybe 18 units, and I've got 10. So it's two to one odds. Uh, we're going to be mostly dealing with enemy assault mechs. So we're going to have to bring them down real fast. Now, this map is really, really small. Uh, so I was really concerned with where I was going to drop in. Um, they wanted me to start back here. But this is like up on a hill, right? And everyone, I mean, if we came down into here, we would probably be fine. But I, I couldn't, like the only place I could spawn was like right up on this hill. And this was all blocked off to me. So I thought, well, they're going to get reinforcements from here. So I'm better off not starting here. So I thought I would start way over on the other corner. Because at least from here, I thought maybe, you know, we've got some rocks here I can get behind to use as cover. And if I'm back here further enough, any anything in this little valley here can't shoot at me. And I can shoot at range over here. But it looks like, like originally it just said um, Karidia forces and reinforcements. But then they got two support lances as well. So this is going to be an atlas. That's a long bow, it looks like. Um... I have no idea what that is, but it looks brutal. Um, yeah, so another Atlas. So this is going to be a tough fight. Now I did reload a couple of the mechs. Um, here's who we got with us. We got Task Taskmaster running the Vulture. Um, we got Rusty and the Hephaestus, which did go down in the last mission. It did go down. Um, so this guy had two MRM-20s and two ER large lasers. Uh, now we've got an Ultra 2, two MRM-10s, um, tag brush. I wanted to go with longer range weapons. MRMs are fairly short, so an Ultra 2, like this thing has kind of got fixed weight, right? It's an, it's an Omni mech. So I wanted to go with the Ultra 2 just to give us some range, um, which will be helpful. And the MRMs have got incendiary, and I think we've got acid ammo, yeah. And improved so we do have the ability to hit multiple targets with a different variety acid is definitely going to come in handy longbow uh, actually let's go through them retriever is in the hellbringer with the ultra fives lrm 20 uh tiger tail obviously in the legend killer uh which is hopefully going to do a lot of work today um we've got flatline with the uh lrms now i did run thunder ammo in the last battle and it came in super super handy um, a lot of the assault, like, like um, a lot of the assault mechs started off in a relatively same location. So by draw, like just, I unloaded all of my thunder rounds early. And by the time we were in later stages, like round nine, 10, a lot of the assault mechs had lost a lot of armor off their legs. So by the time we finally knocked them over, it was just easy to leg them and kill them, which was kind of a bonus. So I don't know what that's going to be like today. These guys, I think are going to be spread out. So I think I'm going to hold off on that. I'm just going to try for some quick Artemis kills. Um, and then we've got Ice House here, uh, running the Babcatha with the uh, Magshot Cannon uh, and the uh, uh, full LRM loadout. And I think I changed, yeah, we've got Incendiary Hydra Follow Leader on this guy. Uh, Skull, I ran the Lacerator, the 55 ton Lacerator last time, but I brought the Warhawk. I, I originally said I wasn't going to use the Warhawk, it's 85 tons, um, because I wanted to leave the, all the clan mechs to... Um, uh, the night gaunts so but then i figured we're probably going to need it for this battle so i brought it forward it's got a triple ultra 5 build with plenty of ammo um, it's got 60 rounds which is which should be fine if you're shooting six every turn it's like 10 turns of firing should be plenty uh, with some M mrms with incendiaries and lrms with incendiary and standard ammo um, overheating mechs came in really really handy the last battle so i'm probably going to be trying to do that in this one as well for some of the heavier mechs that i'm worried about like we had a nasty banshee that had like 60 percent armor reduction or something like that uh, or yeah damage reduction so I, I just overheated the damn thing 
Um, and then who else do we have? We got Sarge running the uh, Highlander with the triple PPC and Gauss rifle build. Hopefully we can get a lot of damage in with her. I want to keep her off the front line so we can keep these PPCs running till the very, very end. So that's the goal with this mech. And then for our two vehicles, I couldn't get any more than two vehicles because of weight restrictions. I can only drop 700 tons and I'm 10 tons shy of that. So we we brought the Nidhogg with the HVAC 20. I'm going to keep it out of action relatively early in the match and bring it forward when I when it, we're ready to like do our final push, I think. Um, it might dart in and out, but we'll see how it goes. The enemy seems to target this a lot, so I have to be careful. And going? then we're bringing the Ifrit as well. We, this is the first time I brought this out. I don't know how long this thing's going to last. we got a Thumper Cannon with Fast Gam, AMS Mark II, some bomb mines, Inferno bombs. Um, the armor is only mediocre on this thing. It's not, like, amazing. It's like 163 in the front, 115 on the sides, and 90 in the back. So once it moves into fight, it's pretty much only going to get one shot at that before they take it down. This thing might go down in the first couple turns. I don't know. But we're going to get what we can out of it. Um, I'll probably be dropping the fast gam rounds in here. Um, bomb mines I'll probably save until later. But uh, yeah, so that's what we're up against hey. this battle. So let's see how we do here. Uh, I want to try and pull down this guy. Oh, this is a Banshee. I thought it was an Atlas. Kind of had the same profile. Yeah. So this guy's got to come down fast. And this guy's got to come down fast. The problem is, is that they've got sp um, spawn immunity. So, like, but we got our back facing them too, which is really shitty. That thing goes on 20. And this guy's on 60. You know what? We're going to give the Banshee his move. I don't like that fact. But I think we have to. Hopefully he doesn't get a back kill on somebody early. I don't think... That's all side, I think. Yeah, so we're just going to reserve past 20, let him go. And then it's going to be all all hands on deck till that guy's down. Then the longbow right after that. We'll see where these other guys go. And it'll be targets of opportunity. Like the last battle that I fought... Um, yeah, they just love the flyers because I can see them really easy. Damage looks light, Commander. Yep. Anyway, um, I got real lucky because I was able to um, pull down enemy mechs. Like I was only able to expose to a couple of mechs at a, a couple of mechs at a time. So that that's the kind of thing that really bothers me, getting them early well, damage in. Nothing. But we can kill this guy now. But yeah, so I was able to pull down a Marauder 2 like right off the bat. And then their Zeus command mech came in. And I was able to pull him down right away. Then I got a target of opportunity on our awesome. Pulled that thing down. So that's what we're going to try and do this battle. We're going to try and choose our targets. Stay hidden. Right? And then once we're at a point where we've, we've tipped the scales where we have more guys than them. As long as our armor is okay. We're going to just go and erect them. But to start with, we got to thin the herd. So that's what we're going to look at doing right now. Uh, making sure that we stay like relatively hidden, not giving them any direct fire opportunities against us. Moving out. Especially for some of these lighter mechs, like the Hellbringer is only 65 tons, right? So uh, we're saving the Warlord for just after the first turn. We're going to dial this down to one shot each. Save a bit of ammo on this. I want to try and get as much instability too as well on these guys as we can and knock them over. It was really super successful to knock a guy down and then kill him pretty quickly. AMS is going to go away real fast in this. But that's okay. Their AMS will go away real fast too. That's what happened in the last battle. The fact that they're that most of their mechs are really, really slow as well. They don't have a lot of movement, so it's not like they can get into a position where they're going to be able to flank us and do a lot of damage. We've got a bit more speed than them, which is really going to help us staying hidden. Okay, we're going to stay on this guy. Um, I think we're probably okay with two here. Mm, I'm going to hold off the acid right away on this guy. we still got really lousy chances to hit, so let's just go this route. Leave the barrage off for this moment. On, Just give me the tag. Don't think we got the tag. 
This first turn is going to be real slow, and then after it's just going to yeah. steamroll here. Man, we could go for this longbow, though. No, it's just terrible chances to hit. We need to just, like, not be in his line of sight. It's what bad, too. We're kind of stuck in this corner. So if he gets a good, like, line of sight on us, e even his misses are going to hit a bunch of our guys, so... Uh, we got plenty of ammo, so I'm going to go double shots on this. Actually, we're going to do control burst to start as well. I'm taking the shot. Okay, there's that instability we want. Yep, you just stay back there and be, be idiots like that. I'm good with that. I am good with that. Let's go to here. Location confirmed. Okay, not bad. Um, yeah, we'll go to double shot. Leaving the Warlord off this turn. Uh, how's our heat? Let's leave the small off for- actually, no, let's leave it on. Try and get as much damage on this guy as we can. Okay, nice. Lost the evasive. Waiting on you, Commander. I read you, Commander. Move I understand that Longbow can just move up a little bit and attack us. But uh, based on what happened in the battles before... Mmm, 43. Let's just go standard. I really want to save that uh, follow the leader from when we have a really good chance to hit. Um, now I think we use... Is it 5? Yeah, 5 rounds per shot. So this is 15 turns of firing, so we'll fire it. It's fine. Roger that. Firing on target. Okay, he's going to be going down here in a second. And then... Let's go to here. Mah. That guy's going to see us no matter what, right? Let's just pull back for range. I'll try. Just pull back for range. That sounded like a vehicle. That's good news for us. Receiving you. All right, you got the thumper. Wait, is that short range? What's the range on this thing? Um, max 310. Holy shit. Um, yeah, okay. Let's just pull to here. That'll keep our AMS on everybody. Man, we need to get close with this thing. I didn't have much in, uh, much else in the way of vehicles. Like, I mean, I had the... Uh, I think I got a... Was it a Striker? Or Pegasus, I think, with uh, three SRM-6s that I used the last battle. Okay, he's not shooting. So, yeah. And that worked out well because I was able to keep that back. And then when mechs would fall, I would dart it in, shoot up the legs, and then dart away the next turn. Commander. Kind of worked out well. Alright, let's see what your uh, ultras Roger are going to be like here. 35%. Yeah, that's the other thing too, is we don't have really great targeting computers, so... Uh, I only have incendiary on that. That's fine. We got standard and what? Incendiary? We're going to go standard. Got 10 turns of firing. Let's just dial it back to one for this. It's a really bad chance to hit, so... Here we go. There's the knockdown. Now we should be able to... 
Who is that back there? Well, that's that, uh, yeah. Put the Highlander here. I'm just going for the kills on this. I don't care about anything else at the moment. Uh, we got standard, Hydra, and that's it, eh? Let's leave that off. We'll save our ammo till later. Let's hope we get a one hit here. Nothing. Really. I missed. You did. Commander. On my way. It's surprisingly I'm surprised how little the enemy tried to target this guy in the last uh, battle. Even I would put him at the front, hoping to absorb a bit of damage because he's 85 tons. They just wouldn't shoot for him. I was kind of shocked. Um, yeah. Targets taken a critical hit. So he'll die next turn. Now we need to choose our second target. This guy looks like he might be giving us his back. Which we might go ahead and take. Another Banshee. Dabuku. Atlas. Sunder. Two Sunders. Just a regular Marauder. Hey. Hey. Uh, what turn are we on? 21? Let's get some uh, evasion if we can. What do we got? Three? Better than nothing. Yes, Commander. All right, buddy. Um, stay behind the rock here. Do a singular double shot this. Let's fire three rounds. Not quite enough. It's all right though. It was plenty. That was plenty. I don't know when this guy's going though. That's fine. Let him lock you. Wish I knew when this guy was going. I'm listening. Can we get a, uh, it's the far guys. That's the problem, man. I was really hoping that we can get some closer guys. Ooh, that's not too bad. Let's get over here. I had to juggle some of my targeting computers. So we don't, like, like, I, like, we, like I said, we don't really have the best in targeting. But it'll have to do... Got five more turns of LRMs. Let's Warlord this. We get a bit better chance to hit this guy. It's not ideal, but we got to be firing, so... Nothing. The primary target is taking damage. That's the primary target? Shoot, we can't keep shooting that guy then. I made sure that the AMS and the longbow has got a lot of ammo, so uh, we should be okay. The big issue is if these guys decide that they want to push up the hill. Ooh, Crockett. 1320. Kind of 99% chance to hit. They want me to come out and do that, though. That's the thing. I think I kind of have to, though. If they're going to give us that good chance, that good of a chance to hit. My kid's downstairs playing. I don't know if you can hear him screaming in the background. He's playing online with his friends. So if you hear screams, that's what he, that's what it is. Uh, I think we're just going to go. As much as I want to take the... You know what? Let's just take the higher chance to hit. Most ch most likely it's going to hit the CT for most of this, so... Maybe 
Maybe we can drop this guy too. He see the like, the name like Sunderer. He seems like someone that's gonna be. Oh shit! He hit. He seems like someone that's gonna be nasty. So we can drop him early. Reporting. Minimal damage. Okay, Victor. That should go down pretty quick. That's a vehicle. Yeah, we gotta pull at least three or four of these guys down before uh, before the guys in the back make their way up here. Damage is light. The banshee's gone. If we can pull the long well, I don't know what the longboat's got on it. If we can pull the longboat down, maybe the sunderer. Is he gonna give us his I don't know what he's doing. I have no idea what he's running either. Okay, at least they got lousy targeting at range. Of course, now that I say that, they'll probably uh, What's up, take advantage of that situation. Okay, firing on this guy. We're going to uh, warlord this. Looks like we got torsos the last time. Hopefully he's running an XL. So he's got a Goss ERPPC. Some LRMs. Not a lot. Ooh. That's actually pretty good. Let's see if we can get that torso. Roger that. All right, at least the AC2's hit. I hear you. That's a side shot. Go in turbo. Better chance to hit the uh, torso here. Uh, let's warlord this. So we've got standard incendiary hydra and follow the leader. Going to hold off on the follow the leader. We're just going to go standard for now. Right, commander. Okay, we're into the internals. There's more where that came I from. I think his Gauss rifle is now down Need because he's got no change. ammo left. I need you to sprint over here. We'll be moving you guys up soon enough. AMS should be on most of us. We got the second one here, so. So that's um, a mauler, it looks like. Interesting they're going for the uh, Hellbringer. I mean, it is 65 tons, so I kind of get it. I don't like this idea of doing this, but I'm going to do it. Because the Legend Killer's got such good chances to hit, we want to apply as much damage to this guy as we possibly can. I'm not going to bother warlording it because we don't need to at the moment. Hopefully we get lucky and get this torso. There you go. Hope we can salvage that. I don't care. They need to die. We need to walk out of this place. Whether we salvage it or not is irrelevant. Okay, let's get up here. Copy that. We should have better targeting on you. Mad Cat Mark II. Pair of Ultra 20s. Well, we know who our next target is. This guy's got to go down. Let's hope for at least one hit here of something. Take this. Looks like the Goss hit. A lot of damage reduction, though. I think, though, if we can make him unstable... That's a torso hit, too. Let's get on this. Yeah, if we can make him unstable, he might not fire next... Well, his Ultra 20s are way out of range, anyway. Uh, he's got a lot of stability. He's standing in mud too, which doesn't help doesn't help us at all. If you don't know, if you're in mud, I think you get a plus fifty percent stability oh, bonus. No. I don't know. If we bring this guy forward now.
Starting to get a bit of speed up here. Let's get over this way. Going as fast as I can. Commander? We're up by two here. Which isn't really saying much, because they've still got, what, 14 mechs, probably? Well, we've heard vehicles, so... Okay. AMS unjammed. You take care of the Nidhogs. It's good to go. Alright, um... We're on 23, huh? They are going to target you. Hopefully with indirect. Can we get you to a position... Gotta drop that to instability. I don't want to give that mad cat a shot at you again. You've already taken too much damage. No problem. I mean, it's not really a lot of damage, but any, any even light damage at this point is a bad thing for us. You hear my kid down there laughing. I don't know if you can hear him. All right, fire it. Nice. A lot more damage than I thought I was going to get out of there. Okay, a Cyclops. Charger, not so bad. So you get 80 times, I think. I mean, our biggest weapon is range, right? As long as we can keep these guys at arm's, arm's reach. You can cut it out now. Like if they decided to get into a line and march up the hill, we'd be dead, but we can pull right a bunch here. of them down before that even happens. More power to us. Can we get a good solid line on that? We can't, but we can get over here. Yeah, bad chances to hit, but we're going to take them anyway. We're doing some good work on this guy's torso, so... Our missiles are hitting really well. It's too bad they don't do a lot of damage. Okay, that guy's kind of wasted this turn. Going after the Highlander, eh? Highlander's our heaviest ton mech. It's 90 tons. Standing by. I'm okay with that. Um... That's not bad. Position confirmed. Getting some early working with this thing. Hopefully, that's, I mean, it's a front okay. shot. Not ideal. That probably splashed everywhere. Well, I don't know, maybe got a little bit in the torso there. We're gonna need to move to the flank a bit here. Ready for orders. Can we get it? I guess we can't get a side shot in that guy anymore. Damn it. Do we have to give up on him for now? I think we do. Who's this? That's the victor. So he's probably got an AC-20. Another Banshee. Better shots on the Victor, so let's take this. He does have an AC-20, although it's pretty weak loadout. He doesn't have a lot of armor, so I think we can probably drop this guy relatively early. I'm not going to use Warlord yet. Everything hit. Into the internals, we should be able to drop that guy this turn. So it's interesting the way they've got the difficulty scales now, where it kind of goes green and then red. So you've got really like 20 skulls worth of difficulty variants. It's kind of cool. Um, but the more I've been playing matches, like with the more mechs and the more heavier mechs at this level, 
the more I, I, I don't find it that exciting. I mean, it's challenging because you got it's like it's a chess match, right? You kind of like you got to get your your pieces into position to do the most amount of damage without taking any yourself. So it is a kind of a cool little chess match, but um, I really enjoy the faster mo faster moving mechs, the faster pace of the earlier game. So that's a shot at the victor there. Let's take it. It opens us up a little bit, but I think we're okay for that. Yeah, still a lousy chance to hit. It's fine though. Aye, aye. AC2 doing a good job. I was worried about dropping the MRAM 20 for an AC2, but I'm like, or an Ultra 2, but it's already paying off because the MRAMs are just out of range, right? Okay, here comes this guy. He's next on the list. Uh, minimal damage on that hit. Yeah. You are next. Okay, that's not the guy we want. Can we get the guy we want? That's the question with you. I don't think we can. You don't have the juice. You can from there, though. That's an interesting position. We're going to take it. Understood. Moving fast. It's a little lower. So these guys can't really see us. So we might be able to finish this guy up this turn. Aye, aye. Engaging. Wrong torsos, but we got him. Mech destroyed. Okay, that's three down. Wow, it's bizarre that we got the three from the same support lance. Yeah, that guy's the... Uh, don't like that guy. That's the Mauler. You Fuck headshot. Ah. I was worried about moving in, but yep. had to do it. Ah, do I want to go for the solid blue line? I mean, I do. This is the Highlander, though. We got lots of armor. I really shouldn't be saying this, but I am. Alright, this guy. Let's not get too overheated here, so we can still maneuver if we have to. Yeah, see, he's got Imperators. I faced one um, when I was prepping my new lances for the next series coming up, and um, it had four Ultra 2s on it. Uh, yeah. Okay, two of them landed. That's nice. What can I do for you? Can you? Get a shot from over here. You can't. You got to come this way. What's your indirect like? 28. We're almost at a standard ammo too. Let's get over here. We're like lining up for splash damage, but we got to get as many guys down as fast as possible. So that's another side shot. Uh, we are going to take that. Let's go with 30, follow the leader, and hopefully they connect. It's either all hit or all miss. Let's not actually, you know what? Let's go with standard on this one. Or do you want to go incendiary? To add a bit of back now, we're gonna save the incendiary for later. Oops, let's go. Let's go standard. Let's hit him hard. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Okay, we should be able to pull that guy down this turn, and then we gotta go after uh, this guy's in a defilade, so it's really gonna be hard to hit him. So we just ignore that guy, I think. I think this guy's our next target, the Sunderer, if we can get him. The Atlas has still got a couple turns to get up here. And as much as I want to kill this guy, I'm worried if I do that, like, he's an attachment to the leader. Because what i found in the past is sometimes you have a leader plus one extra mech. And the extra mech, if it's attached to the leader, if you destroy it, the leader will bug out. So if I haven't seen the, the main guy yet, he might just take off on me and I'll lose the battle. Which is kind of really sucky. What's up, boss? Um, I think we need to uh, start 
on these guys down here. Not going to be close enough for the bomb mines, I don't think. We got to get real close for that, but we you can use fast? the thumper. I can give you fast. If we can start laying some mines down, like right in front of us here, where these guys have to come. What do we got back here? Ninja toe. Really? SM1. That's not. That doesn't look like a good thing. Ninja toe. You have you got Inferno as well. Thirty-eight percent chance to hit. What's SC? Shape charged. Sixty damage. That's a lot of ammo, though. Yeah, we're out of range for the bomb mines. So let's just go. Now it's not going to apply all that much damage to these guys. Locking on. But it'll be a start. And if this guy decides to fart around down here for a while, he's just going to start losing all his leg armor. I guess I should be thankful that a lot of these aren't really advanced versions of the mechs that we could be facing. Orders. Or that we could have been facing, you know? Can you finish? You can. He's all yours. Yeah, see, we've already lost a bar of armor, which just doesn't seem like a lot, but in battles like this, it totally is. Uh, we're going to go full on with this. Uh, let's Warlord this. Bit better chance to hit. Hopefully we can finish this guy up. Come on. Yeah, he doesn't have an XL, so. Inflicted some heavy but his damage. whole side's gone now. Pretty much. Okay, nice. Got some good evasion on that guy, too. Alright, we're not going to go... Tiger Tail's got some heavy firepower, so we're not going to go after that one guy that's been crippled. We're going to... I don't know what's on this Crockett. Let's move over here. Two larges. Okay, so not a lot. This guy's got what? Two larges. Yeah, these are mostly stock builds. This guy's only got... Cyclops has only got 800 armor? Really? For 90 tons? Um... Okay. Let's fire on this guy and strip some armor. We gotta do it sooner or later, so let's do it now. On it. Man, that last battle I faced was way worse than this one. Well, with the mechs that I had to face. So they had a they had the Command Zeus mech. They had a pair of Awesomes, an Atlas, a Marauder 2. Um, what else? They had an Emperor, a Viking, Banshee, copy. Shadowhawk, which got wrecked pretty early. Don't take a Shadowhawk to an assault mech fight. Whatever you do, let's bring you around this side. And they had a couple of other... Oh, a raven. That thing stayed hidden until almost the end of the match, too. I was really shocked when it showed up. I knew they had another mech somewhere. I just It just couldn't track where it was. And then it just showed up right in front of me. I mean, it died horribly, but still it was like... That was a critical evasive hit. until the very end there. Yeah, they're going after the Flyers, which is nice. I think they darted in at the right time here. Because we've got a few guys that are exposed now, so... It's better if, uh... Who do I want to finish off that victor? You? No. But you can definitely finish this Crockett off. 
It's all Got yours. It. Brutal. Tango down. Yeah, I got really lucky too because most of their mechs were clustered in the same location. Like I said, so the, the, the mines did a really good job of stripping most of the leg armor. Can we get a side shot on the... Uh, actually, what's our chance to hit the Atlas here? 14. 12. I mean, it'll be different when we get closer. It'll show us a different number, but it's still going to be lousy. 10. Uh, let's get in there. Got a bit of armor, so, I mean... See how it goes here. 24, a little bit better. 27. 27. 24. 6. So a lot of 27s here. I wonder if we just try and kill this guy. I think we do that. It's the best chance to hit. We'll take the shot, see if we can get a kill on him. That'll save us, like, using one of our mechs to do it. Well, oh, spread the damage around a little bit. Alright, fair enough. Uh, orders? Uh, orders? You... are gonna uh, get the kill on the victor, hopefully. Hopefully. I want to save my Ultra 5 ammo for somebody else. Alright, firing. Not enough. Just a matter of time, though. Ultra 5 and a pair of pulses. Not a bad loadout. He's overheating, though. Yeah? Is it time? No. I was going to say, is it time to uh, overheat him and kill him? Hoping that that's the only guy, but I think it's probably a bad move if I do that. Wow. That bad, huh? Taking the shots. Hopefully we can finish him up. Guy's taking the damage. Ain't got much left. Ten points. And <laughs> I got a couple of machine guns we can finish him up with. Uh, it figures. All right, Vulture's got to get the hell out of there. Man, the bal the balancing factor for the Vulture, because it does carry a pretty heavy arsenal of weapons, or can. But the balancing factor is the fact that it's got that ultralight gyro that lowers the amount of stability it can possibly have. So it's easy to knock down, you know. That was a heavy hit, Commander. Yeah. Not much armor left in that location. Well, we're gonna have to put up with it for a bit until we can take down some of these uh, mechs with AC-20s. Because I can't be going up there to try and kill that guy when we've got AC-20s pointed at us. Waiting for orders. They're shooting at me. Yes. You're in the middle of a war zone. What did you think they were going to do? Moving to position. <sighs> this might be a bad move. Let's burn him. It'll shut him up for a while. He's got at least two turns before he recovers. If he decides to fire, he's got he's risking shutting down, so... He's too far away from the water for that to help him. Well, maybe not that far. It looked like a lot farther away from the water. But with that amount of heat, he's still a couple turns from the water. Why are you always taking head hits? I don't get it. It seems like every friggin' match I play, you take a head hit. Let's back up a bit here. On my way. Uh, 
How is this guy? We haven't touched him yet, right? We attacked the Crockett and we killed it, right? So let's go after the Cyclops. It's got the AC-20, plus it's got um, very little armor. Not you. Cyclopsian Horror, where are you? There you are. Let's fire at him. Roger. Yes. 270 damage, just like that. So when I put together that um, the Warhawk with the three AC-5s, I'm like, ah, I don't know, the damage doesn't seem to be that much. But it, but at medium range, it's like 400 damage with the two LRMs and the MRMs. If everything hits, like the, the three Ultras do 270, MRM does 50, and the LRMs do 80, so... It's a hefty amount of damage if everything connects at close range. Waiting for orders. Yeah, see? You got it. So we're in the kind of perfect position here where we can limit the amount of mechs that can actually directly see us. So they're limited to indirect fire on us, right? Now, I don't have multi-target, unfortunately, but I wish we did. Oh, shit. I clicked off the damn thing. I get this stupid lag spikes every once in a while where I'll go to click and it registers my click somewhere else in the map. Usually I get it when I'm moving. Like I'll click to move somewhere. Then there'll be this freeze and then the click happens somewhere else. Yeah, we're going to back you guys off this turn. Actually, I might take a run. Because we're almost at a point now where we can push these guys. They don't really have the juice to uh, to take us down if we if we push them. They've already got two mechs that are damaged, one that's almost shut down. They got still got a handful of AC twenties, but we can focus fire them down. I'm just gonna go after this guy and try and kill him. Leave the incendiaries on. Let's just wind this up a bit here. We'll warlord it. Haven't really seen anybody else showing up from behind, so. Yeah, that's nice damage. Yeah, you hide behind that rock. I mean, I guess these guys can move over and go after that charger. Good to go. Bobcat, can we get you? Like, we don't want to go right there. We, we can go right here, though. Right, Commander. Okay, I'm in a little trench here. Can we get... Yeah, you don't have multi-target, unfortunately. That's incendiary. So that's still the same, right? 30? We've got 80 rounds, and this is an LRM-60. So if we use this, and this, and this, and hope we get the kill on this guy, that would be nice. Affirmative. Yep, nice. Okay, so the support lance, one of them's gone. Enemy down. Down to 11 plus the leaders. So we're still missing guys here. We got the guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got a guy back here, ten. I'm showing minor damage. I'm wondering if one of these lances support no, that's twenty-five percent. There must be people we can't see yet. Either that or one of these lances have got two mechs in it. Maybe it's the reinforcements. Cause it seems like they're short still. Yeah, they're really pushing these these uh, Nidhogs, man. They are Goodbye. really pushing these guys. So let's do this. How close do we need to be?
This is super risky though. Like what if we decide to go after the longbow? Like he's taken what, 18 damage for his from his legs from the fast cam? Not a lot. We could drop we could come in here and drop the bomb mines. Or go after the Atlas even. Banshee's got two L oh that's the longbow. That's a lot of energy. He's got an AC-10. So it's just pretty much a stock. This puts them in range with everything. On my way, double time. It does seem crazy to do this, but... I only got four chevrons of evasion, eh? Uh, so we got fast cam, we got inferno, direct, fuck. Fast cam's not going to do a whole lot, the bomb mines will apply more than the fast cam will, but maybe we can hit him with the inferno, because he got a lot of energy here. If we can superheat him. He's probably running an XL too. Firing. Ooh, that's a lot of heat. 72 heat, plus the Atlas took a bunch, and they're standing in fire. Beautiful. Orders. That kind of puts them, I don't want to say they're out of service, but it puts them back a notch. Acknowledged. Yeah, we're almost ready to push here. Uh, I'm going to Warlord this. want to try and get as many shots on this guy as possible, hopefully take him down. There we go. One Pilot lethal time. damage. So that was a headshot. Beautiful. Yeah, we're ready to push. It's time to go. They haven't got much left here. This guy's got to go down first, probably. These guys are kind of tied up because of the heat. This guy's... the scare. Actually, this guy's got to go down first. And he's got his side to us. What? What actual turn is it right now? He's going on 19. Yeah, you better pull back. So he's moved already. Who do we have left, though? Not a lot. We can't get a visual uh, on him, though. Well, if we can't get a visual on him... Are we at a side shot here? We are. So let's not move. 27, huh? We can Warlord this. Now the question is... It's the same with Incendiary. Let's go for damage. I want to save the incendiary when we crest the hill, I think. Confirmed. Get that side shot on him. It's all important, I think. So we're going to get you on that guy too, I think. That's a pretty darn good chance to hit. Let's get into here. Okay, jamming them up a little bit. That's going to help. And straight up on this guy. 55%. Not bad. Yeah, I missed. But it's okay. The follow-up was just as good. Not a knockdown, though. Yep, that guy's done. I'm ready for orders. All right, let's go get these guys. Oh, yeah, we got more. No, that's the same two targets. Okay, perfect. Let's get over to here. On the move. Let's mop this up and go home. Ooh, I thought we had a shot at him, but we don't. So 
So the Banshee's overheated. Same chance to hit. Um, this guy's got a lot of energy, which means he's probably got a lot of heat sinking, which means we probably should keep him super heated if we can. Put the barrage in there as well, and open up on him. Confirmed. vehicle back there. So I was right, there was still some p things we haven't seen yet. There might be one or like another one back here too. It's a Padilla. Not a big deal. Oh, yep, another thing back there as well. Could be a mech. Mjolnir. So I'm guessing that this guy is their main guy. I think probably because they set us up to drop over there. That they moved, like normally this guy is down here in on this map. But with the random drop locations, it probably moved him over here furthest away from where it was initially going to drop us. But then when I moved back into the corner here, damage, it didn't burn. adjust their locations, so... What do you need? I never really thought that that's what would happen, but I'm thinking that's what did happen. Oh, that longbow. If he's going to give it to me, I'm going to take Moving it. To position. It's all yours. Uh, standard ammo, thanks. Yeah, we're still we're still out of range for our targeting computer at this guy, I think. Roger. Sure, buddy. Scored a critical hit. Bet you're wishing you hadn't done that now, eh? Shit. I'm here. All right, let's get on this guy. Uh, I don't want you standing in front of the uh, Highlander. We're on 13, eh? I'm gonna vigilance this. Just to try and get better uh, initiative next turn. And let's get into here. Let's move. Let's see if we can take this guy out of the battle completely. We should be able to do that. Target lock on nope. A lot heavier back armor than I thought. Yeah, almost though. Almost. It's not the back armor, it's the internal structure, I guess. You just stay back there, buddy. Cool with that. Would have been an interesting fight, I think, if we had taken the battle, like the opening position. Because there's a couple of heavy hitter, heavy hitting mechs over there that we could have stripped down right away, and then used that hill to our advantage. But I think this, the positioning that we're in now, forced me to think a little more than just having that big hill as cover over there. Because we would, we would, we would have been able to pop tart up and down back there. Whereas here, I've got no that real got place to go. Orders. Orders. Who do I want you on? Let's get rid of this guy if we can. It should do it. Yeah. Target eliminated. Good to go. All right, buddy, you got your... Ooh, jeez, you're almost gone on that side, eh?
might get you out of this. I don't know. Standing by. Nice. All right, now, uh, this guy needs to go down. I gotta get a shot at him, though. What's blocking me? Oh, wait. Okay, we can kind of get a shot at him there. There's the solid line. And in trees. So we'll move over to here. Let's get the knockdown on this guy. Yep. Maybe we get the kill too. Yep, there we go. Tango down. In cleanup mode, people. We're in cleanup mode. Let's keep the Sunderer focused on you, hopefully staying away from the aircraft. This guy's shut down. Keep them that way with incendiaries. Excellent. Man, I gotta say though, it really is brutal trying to keep your uh, your um, two million dollar plus company Thank going you. like continuously it's always such a struggle all right can we get fifty five hundred and forty back armor Copy. I'm gonna take a shot at it then we'll get out of here. See if we can get this guy. Oh my god, there you go. What happened? I think it was either a, a an ammo explosion or something. It didn't look like it was. Waiting for orders. Whatever, I'm taking it. That was a freebie. Can't say no to something like that. Cannot say no to that. All right, let's just hammer this guy. Monsieur Latlis. How you like me now? So I think what really saved us there, or not really save us, but it um, gave us all the opening that we needed was those two um, VTOLs moving in exactly when they did. Because then these guys basically shifted their focus to the VTOLs, gave us their sides like they're doing right now, and allowed us to finish them off. It's pretty much what happened. Got it. I don't know what it is about Goss, man. Even with good chances to hit, it always seems so inaccurate. I've got multiple weapons with no ammo. That's all right. That's how you put this guy on his ass. That's all that matters. Yep, we got clean up mode in the hill after this. So this guy's wondering what the hell's going on. Everyone's dying around him and no one's shot him yet. I think if this wasn't a series, I would save him to the very end and just murder him last, but we got to get rid of him if we're going after these guys. Otherwise, he'll be shooting us in the back. I mean, the worst thing you could possibly do is just, like, ignore him, kill all of these guys, and then just hop on the dropship and get out of here and just leave this guy by himself. Orders. What would you- how would you explain that? When they came to get you later, how would you explain it? Roger. Yeah, I have no idea why they didn't shoot me. Or like, oh no, you're not an informer or anything? <laughs> no, honestly, I'm not. And why didn't they shoot you? I have no idea! Your mech is in pristine condition. I don't know what to tell you. Did you hide? Is that what you were doing? Like, I mean, how, how, what could you tell them? I mean, I guess they could do a uh, forensics of the battlefield and notice that your mech was, like, walking around here the whole time, but... Yeah, Commander. And I guess they could tell if your weapons had been fired. Kind of.
All right, let's finish off this atlas. CTM. Target acquired. Come on, bail out. There you go. That's the smart move. He, he knew he wasn't going to recover from that. Yep. Not sure what weapon that Padilla is using, but uh, not, I don't even understand why he's not firing yet. I'll do what I can. I thought they had a thumper or a sniper, usually. Okay, this guy's burning up, so I'm not worried about him. Let's just finish this guy off. We'll drop a bit of heat here at the same time. Save the Hydra. From position. I mean, I should have used the Hydra earlier. That was just him. Gotcha. Yeah, not the best location for that, but whatever. I'm noticing that the uh, the um, tag barrages now are a little bit more balanced. They do a little bit more damage in the center, very little damage on the outside. Half decent amount of heat damage. Yeah, we knew they would flank you. Just you got back armor. Relax. It's got normal PPCs. You're out of there in a second anyway. Yeah. <laughs> So they're gonna shoot, are ya? Oh boy, heavy hit there. Yeah, you'll be out of there. Just relax. You're good. Yes, command. You're good. It's a brand new turn. All right, let's push these guys. Who's going when? That guy. That guy's already gone. So it's Sunderer first. On my way. See what we can get on this guy. Let's give it to him then. Come on. Yes, Commander. I don't intend for that Banshee to be there much longer, so. Thirty-two. Take this shot. I know the recoil is starting to kill us here, but ah, uh, you landed it. Nice. Finally. Was that a knockdown or no? All out of short-range missiles. Yeah. See, I don't know. I'm not convinced that the knockdowns were. Oh, you hit with the AC-20. Nice shooting. Because there's been like so many times going. I get right on the edge of that knockdown and, and this never happens. Standing by. Got it. Okay, we're gonna keep that side turned. Uh, let's just go with the Inferno. Actually, what's the shape charge? That's not bad. We'll take that shot. Uh. Yes! A little bit of payback. Yeah. For your buddy. Uh, we only got 60 of those left, eh? So let's sprint. This way. Affirmative. And then... Go this route. See how far we've got. Yeah, I mean, let's drop some in there, sure. See if they push forward. Yeah, sure, he will. He's like, haha, you missed me. Oops. Only 25 landmines. Sorry, right, we got three and a half more turns of that. See, it's not so bad, like, the first drop isn't so bad, right? It's when you get the second and third that just it starts to collect. And with assault mechs, they, they have a tendency Order to, like, received. just kind of walk back and forth through them. So keep that in mind if you ever decide to, uh, to use them. Well, it's follow the leader time. That's a pretty good percentage. This should be it for this guy. Uh, 
Well, lots of armor. Took most of it in the one side there. Okay, at least the Mjolnir's moving forward. Yes, Commander. All right, Tiger Tail, let's okay. hammer this guy. One ultra jam, we're good with that though. That hit something good. I would say probably another hit like that, and he's toast. I think I've heard that somewhere. I, I don't know where I heard that from, but probably another hit like that, and he's toast. I still haven't used the acid yet. Target confirmed. I don't know, I just haven't felt like this battle has been to the point where I've needed to like max out what do you need? all of my resources to try and finish everybody up. You know what I mean? The resources I've had have been good enough. I don't need to pull out tricks and whatever to get the final kills and stuff. Ah, fucking use the Hydra. I mean, Hydra is basically AoE heat. There's the knockdown. Hopefully it does enough damage to the back that it kills him. Nope. Nope. Whatever. He's starting to get within range though. Reporting. I copy. Let's show this guy what we think of him. Lots of ammo left. Gonna core him. There we go. One lance left. That's a kill, Commander. Everybody comes home today. Aye, aye. Gonna get the flyers out of there. We don't need them up there anymore. Oh, that's something's in range. Probably with the ERs. I could use this, but we're gonna save it for uh, when we got the ultras up. Very little ultra jams in this. I'm actually shocked. The uh, the last battle that I pl played, a couple of our ultras jammed on the first turn, which is very very rare. Most of our guys have enough recoil compensation that it shouldn't happen on the first turn. And with control bursts, it shouldn't happen at all. Oh, nice shot. I'm wounded, Commander. Uh, see, if I hadn't opened my mouth, Ready for if I hadn't have said, everybody comes home. I mean, you'll be alive, but still, I feel bad now. Roger that. Why do I open my mouth? Things like that. I just gotta learn to stay quiet. All right, let's give this guy some lerms. Engage. Well, four points of damage. He just needs to know that we can see Ready. him. Get back over here. They're gonna chase this guy probably, so... Let's give him something to chase. Ooh, that's accurate. And that's right through the armor. Got an armor breach. Internals are taking damage. I think that was the arm. Yep, it was. Hmm. Huh? We don't need to trade shots just yet. Let's just back up. I'm pushing these guys, but I'm not going crazy. There's no point in going crazy on them. Confirmed. Add a bit of heat. So shockingly... One of the lances I got for my next uh, Commander? role playing campaign that we're doing um, is a heavy lance, and I've got a Hetzer with an Ultra Auto Cannon. That thing hasn't died Double yet, Let's go. but it's a Stealth Hetzer with an Ultra 20. So most people, d they don't even shoot at it most of the time, which I find very shocking, but still, it's like. It's just, I find it interesting at the same time. Acknowledge. 
Like, I'm glad they don't shoot at it. We didn't even hit the guy we wanted to hit. We hit the other guy. Commander? Like, I'm super glad that, uh... Let's go to here. But they're not shooting at it because I need it as a, um... I've got a mauler. And I need it as a, uh... Protection for the mauler because the mauler's got mostly long-range uh, firepower. Alright, let's go... Incendiary. Yeah, so the Muller's got mostly like long range firepower. So I've been using the uh, Hetzer as a Ready for order. close range basic weapon platform to defend it with, right? So if anybody gets too close, they get the Hetzer. Alright, full speed. Alright, let's switch this up to. Go this route, but let's do. Let's put some chaff on him as well. We're so low in ammo here. Let's go, um... Yeah, that's fine. Firing on target. Just make it harder for me to hit for him to yep. hit us. You need to get closer if you're going to actually hit anything. Alright, that keeps us out of the fire. All right, full speed. Fire is very, very bad for this thing. Oh man, look at the chance to hit. Oh, well, 25 on the grasshopper. Sure, we'll just go this route though. Ah, uh, let's turn the Goss off for a turn. Acknowledge. Landing one. There we go. Leg shot. Not bad. What's up, boss? God, I love this mech. Moving to position. There's several builds in this game that I'm just really, really loving. I think the vultures are w definitely a winner. The this this one's definitely a winner. Like I mean, it's not. S if you think about it, for a seventy for a seventy ton mech, the loadout is pretty deadly. I'm here. And especially if you're playing, if you got a half decent sized map and you're playing like ranged against your opponent, it's like the loadouts are just brutal. Confirmed. You know. We're at extreme range for the ultras, so they're not going to be as good, but just use the control burst anyway. Okay, I'm on it. Ooh, two, hi uh, two hits and a kill. Look at that. Nice. Vehicle trash. Yeah, like if I had to take just two mechs out of this and move them into the next campaign, I would take the vulture and the legend killer. Because the loadout, I mean, this is so accurate, it's such a long range, you know? Get, get up here. So we know this guy's Ultra 20's down. So let's keep on this guy back here. Nice, two hits. Who's up? Waiting for orders. Oh, brother, where art thou? Position confirmed. So you just sit right back there. We got you. You and the other, you and the other Nidhog turned the tide of this battle. They really did. It's not so much the damage that they put out. I mean, they really help with the Atlas and the Banshee by keeping them overheated. But the fact that, like, all of their mechs turn to engage them. Distracting them for, like, those two vital turns. And basically giving us their sides to rip through and kill them. That was what did it for us, I think. Engaging target. Both laser hits, one AC hit. Nice. Yep. 
Ah, uh, you're super heated. So what can we do here? Um, let's use up the rest of the Artemis. And then... He's a bit of incendiary. We're just going to fire on this guy. We're going to cool off so we get a bit of movement. Alright, not bad. LRM are out. Look at all the corpses. I'm glad you decided to drive through all of the mines. Okay, his AC is unjammed now, which means he has to die this turn. Chunky armor, but I think we can kill him from yeah. the side relatively easily. And there's my 10 o'clock alarm going off. Um, can we see him with you? Can from here. But I think we need to use the Highlander at range. On this guy. Let's get the Warlord going. A little bit better, not much, but 6%. We'll take it. Okay, we got one hit. Ooh, he's into internals. Standing by. As much as I want to use you against that meal there. Oh, that flame's on the way. Mm, yeah, we got good heat. Acknowledged. We got good heat sinking. I'm okay with this. Yeah, see, like even even going through fire is like almost no heat. Excellent. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Reporting. Okay, so that's your left arm, so we need to keep the right side turned. So like this, right? Hope I got that right. I hope I got that right. Now this should be a kill on this guy. What do we got left here? Not much. Incendiary, yes please, and firing. There it is. No, really. That was a critical hit. Really, I shouldn't have said anything. Go. Why do I, you know, why do I say stuff? That's this one will be a kill though. This one will be the kill. I'm gonna cool off, so we're not gonna use the full. Let's go with thirty, I guess. We got what else do we got? Hydra, follow the leader. We only got 40 follow the leader left, eh? So let's go that route. Uh, actually, you know what? No, that's a bad idea. Because the follow the leader will land wherever the first one lands. So if we don't hit the CT, we're not going to get a kill. This is at least splash, and there's a good chance we can get a kill off this. Firing on target. There you go. And then there was one. Gotcha. And then there was Stand one. By. Copy that. Okay, let's get back here. Keep the height so we can see this guy. 85 with the largest. We just fire the largest. Firing the Save the warlord when we can fire when we can fire everything, get a better chance with everything. We've only got a couple of turns left here before this guy's done. I wonder if I should solo him with somebody. Nah, he doesn't got much armor left. There's no point in soloing him. Oof, nice shooting. It's your last turn, so. Receiving you. It's your last turn, so we'll give it to you. Let's see who gets the kill here. This will be a softening up shot. Solid connection on that one. Oh yeah, I forgot you got fire and maneuver on this thing. There we go. Why not? Yes, Commander. All right, buddy, you just stay right there. It's so weird. So, 
and I don't know why, I guess, I guess it's got to be something to do with limiting of the coating, but if you're trying to travel, you have the minimum distance you need to fly. So if you've flown a long way, you can't just fly a little way and stop because you've got mo mo momentum. But if you fly all the way here and then just hit fortify, you basically stop moving on the spot. Waiting for orders. So it's just a kind of a weird, uh, weird mechanic to have that, um, you know, let's go with this, to have that uh, momentum because if you decide to just stop and brace, momentum doesn't matter. It's a little bizarre. So what do we got left? We got follow leader. We got 40 though. So we'll use those and then this can be incendiary. Right, 40, follow the leader. 20 incendiary, here it comes. Roger that. Looks like they all hit. Sucks to be you, buddy. Follow the leader, man. Insane. Mission successful. There it is, folks. Now, could you imagine if that had been against Comstar or against Word of Blake and they had like five or six mechs per lance? Or even the clans that even... And, they, and those were all clan assaults, that would have been a completely different match, like a completely different match. We would have just been shredded, I think. So I think we got really lucky with the draw on that one. But it was, a, I mean, it was still a pretty good fight. They had a pretty good chance of killing us, so. Well, look at that. We could have got a full Atlas. We could, we could have got, well, we could get a Banshee, but I'm just going to grab the two Atlas pieces just for the sake of grabbing them, but could have ended up with a Cyclops. Yeah, I mean, sure. So, longbow part, marauder part, a sunderer part, 90 tons, eh? Bunch of heats. <laughs> really? Couldn't have got any, anything but heat sinks or jump jets, like... Got three of these already. So, I mean, okay, whatever. There it is, folks. Ah, 200,000 is not too bad, I guess. 14 days for repair. I mean... We had a couple of internal structure hits, but not a whole lot. But uh, before we finish up here, let's have a look at the pilots. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get them all healed up here. It's only a couple of days before they're back. And then um, we'll have a look and see. I think... Wait, did one of them get... Oh, yeah, Taskmaster's wounded. Oh, we got enough for our financial report. So let's just go through and get them back. So we're going to go through and we're going to check out how they did... Um, in terms of number of missions and kills. God, two million. You know, it's sad though. It's like, you know, even like the equipment in this is a lot of inner sphere equipment, but then it's a few, little bit of clan equipment for two million. And it's easy to, um, thanks buddy. It's easy to, um, eat through, um, two million with even lighter lances if you've got all clan gear. Uh, let's give see what let's see if Yang can get us some uh, now. Nah, really, sure. Got those burgers, man. I don't know. I always end up getting the worst end of the deal with those things. All right, let's have a look here now. So in the barracks, so Taskmaster, of course, is the leader. Let's have a look. She was in most of the matches, although she did take a lot of wounds, which is, uh, I guess, not surprising, but. Uh, she did get injured quite a bit here, so let's have a look at her service record. So we got 86 deployments, 55 mech kills only, and 54 other kills. So it's a little over like 1.2 to 1, I think, something like that. 1.25 to 1, somewhere in there. So not too bad. Three injuries taken, that's it? It's got to be more than that. Huh, interesting. All right, so other members that were early on. We had Skull Amanda. early on. So she had 78 deployments and almost 100 kills. So it's about the same ratio, three injuries taken. And I know we had Retriever early on. 76 missions and 100 kills. So, we're, I mean, we're looking pretty average here for a lot of them. Tiger Tail we've had for a while. She was a vehicle pilot and then moved into Max, if I'm correct. Yeah. Hetzer, Trebuchet, and Rifleman. And then... Rifleman later on. So 79 deployments. 
wow, that, that few kills. I guess, you know what, though? It's because she was piloting the Hetzer for so long, and that thing would never hit. But later on, when she was piloting the little Rifleman, she was actually doing quite good. So, you know, she did bail out once and got five injuries. So it's not too bad. Now, Sarge came a little later. I think we picked up her, yeah, shortly after the the uh, we started because we needed extra pilots. So, she did pretty well here. 90. So, it's almost like 1.3 to 1. So, she did a pretty good job killing people. Now, Rusty we had for quite a while. Bye. 65 missions. Wow, so few, eh? Two injuries taken. Now, was she one of... I think she was one of the vehicle pilots we had, right? Yeah, Galleon and Hetzer. So that's probably why she was piloting these for, for a whole bunch of time and then got into the Warhammer a little later on. That's probably what it is. Like, does it say how many... Yeah, 16 missions in the Warhammer. Seven in the... Well... You can't tell with Hetzer and, and Galleon because your affinities decrease over time. So, for instance, if you start off piloting a mech and you perform 20 missions and then move into a different mech and perform 20 missions, like as your time progresses, your affinities in the first mech start to decrease. I can't remember if it's monthly or I, I don't know if it's like every month out of the vehicle it decreases, something like that. But anyway their affinities will start to go down. So it's hard to tell how many missions they were there. So Ice House we picked up um, short way into things. And he was originally the um, the Helopolis pilot, artillery guy. Yeah. So he piloted that most of the time. And what's he's like? 64 missions. So I mean, okay. A little over 1. 1 to 1.2 1 to 1? Or 1 to 1? A little over 1 to 1. Something like that. Clinton, Trebuchet, Helopolis. And then Fox came a lot later. She wasn't in very... very yeah. We just had her as a, uh, a vehicle pilot we picked up as an additional. Same thing with Cooler. There's a mech pilot that we picked up additionally. Four missions. And then we've got Flatline, which we've had for a little while now. 54 missions. So a little less than one to one. Only one injury, so not that great. But, I mean, he didn't pilot a, like... I don't think he... I mean, 54 deployment's actually pretty good, so I was going to say... Orders. And then this guy... Yeah, only nine missions for brother. And then Bomber we've had for a hey. while. Yeah, not that long, though. She's got good stats, so she must have started off with good stats. 25 missions, 19 mech kills, 8 other kills. Now, was she... Nidhogg only? 19 mech kills in the Nidhogg? Really? Probably. Probably. That's pretty darn good. I don't think we missed anybody. Ogre, I think, came a little later on. Yeah, we never even got to, to field him. I grabbed him as an additional pilot. And that would be it. I think, so I think the best person wasn't Tiger Tail. It was, who, was, who got the 1.3... To one? Was it Rusty? Yeah, Commander. No? Sarge. Yeah? Yeah, but 1.3 to 1, so it's 50, 90. Yeah, a little, I mean, 1.25 to 1. So she was probably the best kill ratio. So that's not bad. 63 deployments. Although, how many mech I'm kills here. did we get with this guy? 55 mech kills. Yeah, so this is about one point, so it's 109, uh, 20 over, 20, yeah, about 1.25 to 1, about the same, roughly. So, that's not bad though, 1.25 to 1 isn't too bad, so a mech kill every mission, you figure you're you're facing roughly the same amount of mechs. Um, well, I guess a unit kill every mission, the same amount of mechs that you're fielding you're usually facing, so that's pretty good, I guess, overall. So that will be it for that, I think. I'm going to end the episode here, guys, and that will be it for the Dragon's Rejects. Now, coming up this weekend, I probably won't have a video out 
well, I'm going to work on getting the video for the Night Gaunts done first. I'm going to have to make some tweaks to the Lance now that I know what we're up against. We're going to look for a Comstar, a Weirder Blake opponent, I think. At, at least one Red Skull, maybe one and a half somewhere in there. But I want to get the Lances up to snuff because it's going to be a tough fight. We Just because the sheer numbers of enemies. Really at this level, it's the volume that you have to worry about more so than anything. Like if you had the same weight class facing the same max, you could usually outpay, like out think the AI and defeat them pretty easily. Um, like we, like this match was pretty much an outthink match. If they had, if they had waited and then just moved forward to, as a, in a line and all crested at the same time, then it would have been a slugfest. But we would have lost because they had AC twenties. They just had more guns than we did. Um, but um, barring that, it's just volume of max. So we're gonna have to make sure that we've got. I mean, we had enough ammo this time too, so I'm thinking like 10, 15, well, 10, 10, 12 turns, I think, of ammo, I think would be good. And we'll just see. I don't think we have the same volume of firepower that we have with these guys on the night guns, so I'll have to see what that's like. But I want to run that one, and then coming up um, this weekend, we're going to be starting the next campaign for um, the role playing series that I did. Um, if you guys haven't checked out in the Discord, I'll try and put a Discord link in the bottom of this video if I remember to do that. Um, so if you guys want to go to the dis Discord to check out what's going on over there. The first map's already laid out. Players have pretty much got their start location set up. So um, I already have a plan and what the enemies are. Actually, I had the plan before the players put their, put their um, pieces on the board. But the plan was already in place just so I couldn't... Um, um, what do you want to call it? I couldn't... Uh, um, have any kind of bias as to what the enemy attack would going to be. They've, the enemy's already planned their attack and they're going to follow through with it. It's just the volume of, of enemy that's going to adjust slightly depending on the number of players and their and their um, their units. So now that I got a good idea what that is, everything's going to play out um, pretty well. I think it's going to be pretty balanced. But yeah, if you're interested in going over to Discord and checking that out, that'd be kind of cool. Um, if you guys want to get involved at any time. Um, like starting like and getting involved in, in a current scenario is possible um, but this this first scenario is going to be relatively short so once you see what that's like if you're interested in, in uh, participating in the uh, the full campaign you're more likely you're more than welcome to do that because we're gonna have like I've already got the second scenario that happens after this first battle um, already partially planned out the maps built and everything so it's getting ready to go then once we start that one, I'll be working on the map for the third one. Um, so it's just going to continue along, and everyone's working together as a big unit to, uh, um, basically as a mercenary military unit, um, to um, developing to, to develop a large mercenary company, which I think will be pretty kind of, or, or I guess it'll be a regiment or whatever, it'll be kind of cool. So if you're interested, go and check it out in the Discord. And um, yeah, until next time, we'll see you later.